Hello, it's Dwight again. I'm back with another bicycle tool. Uh, actually, what I want to talk about today, or this afternoon, is this uh, Wheels Manufacturing Bottom Bracket Press. So this is just awesome, because, I mean, look at this thing. It's all CNC, out of aluminum, nicely anodized, really nicely made, and it's 35 bucks. So there's just no excuse to not have the right tool for putting in a uh, press fit bottom bracket. So, I love this thing. It's just, it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, every now and then you find a tool that's just super cool. And this one is in that category because it's just so nice. Uh, you know, for, for 35 bucks, you look at this thing, you'd think it'd be 150 bucks, really, honestly. Um, I don't know if you can see if the camera's going to focus or not, but um, all of the, the two uh, press things on the end here, the, the parts that actually interact with the bearing or the bottom bracket, are so screened with the sizes. Not that you need it, because in general, when you go to use this thing, you, you just fit up the, the side, you know, with the bearing, with the bottom bracket, and then press it in. And uh, it just works like a charm, and it's just so nice. I mean, it's just one of those things where you buy it, and you, you can't believe that you got away with this thing, 35 bucks. Uh, it comes from Wheels Manufacturing, uh, their website. And, of course, if you're, you know, if you're doing bottom racks, you're probably looking at their stuff anyway, because they are one of the bigger suppliers for aftermarket and replacement bottom brackets and bottom bracket adapters. Um, I actually use this to put in a press fit 30 to Shimano 24 millimeter bottom bracket on my bike. Uh, a friend of mine had a, a press from Park Tool. It was actually a headset press and you could kind of use it if you wanted. Uh, it's just it's big and it's clunky. This thing is just the right size. It's, it's perfect. It's not too much. Uh, you know, so you, it's not like this big unwieldy thing that you're trying to work with and it's the exact size that you need for each of the bearings. And you can see there's a lot of a lot of steps on there. So there's I don't think you're gonna find the bottom bracket that this thing won't press in. Uh, anyway, it's just it's super cool. And the thing is it's not very big. It fits in my I have a very small bicycle toolkit and this thing that fits in the bottom drawer uh, very nicely and just ready to go. And uh, I love it. I mean just you know it's one of those things where do you need a bottom bracket press? How often do you do it? Maybe once a year or so? If that, um, you know, or, or you take your bike to the shop and have them do it. But honestly, with this tool, it's just kind of fun. And it's almost like now I want to do my brackets. <laughs> so anyway, just thought I'd show you this. This is just super cool. Love it.